So here I took on the course which I think is called Riddu, um, which is one of the eight routes on Mount Snowdon. And there's lots of different um, tracks that you can take to get to the summit. They're designed for different reasons. Um, some are for those that really like a sense of danger from steep drops and big craggy rocks that you have to scramble up um, to other routes that are quite tranquil and quiet. And there's ones that are quite popular with groups and families um, where you can take dogs and you can have some really pretty scenic views. Um, this is my first time on a mountain. I've never even hill walked, so it's quite an experience for me. And as you can see, I started off um, with a kind of basic kit, really. So I had hiking boots, which are absolutely essential um, because you really need the grip and the support on your ankles so that you don't twist any bones. Um, I had thick socks and I didn't get a single blister. It took five hours in total to climb both up and down um, Mount Snowdon from start to finish and it was such an amazing experience. I wore leggings um, just in case I scraped my legs. I also had waterproof trousers that I did pop on at the start when it was raining in the car park uh, and as I kept walking I kind of peeled back layers. So the idea is to wear lots of different layers. Um, mostly thin vest tops work quite well. Breathable fabrics and those that take away sweat. You don't want to be all damp and clogged up and, and sweaty um, because when you get the breeze on you, you really will catch a chill. So waterproofs are absolutely perfect um, and that way you can take them off and slip them into your backpack, fold them flat um, and take them with you. I also had some snacks that were high in protein and energy. This really helped to kind of boost your morale as you're going up um, because it does take a lot of energy. Um, you burn between 1,000 to 2,000 or even 3,000 calories depending on what route you take. So it's essential that you have some nibbles to keep you going throughout. You don't want anything too heavy. Um, so things like nuts, protein bars, um, flapjacks, bananas. I had wholemeal pasta and chickpeas for when I got to the top. Um, and it really kind of gave me the spurt to get back down again. And as you can see, I had a walking pole, which worked amazingly well because you can really dig it into the ground and it gives you that momentum to keep going. Overall, my legs survived pretty well and I had no blisters um, and I had no pain, which was incredible. I didn't twist any ankles, I didn't break any bones and I never fell over. Um, despite it being quite cold, as you get towards the summit, um, I then kind of just put some layers back on. We had hats um, and scarves and, and woolly gloves as we got to the very top because the weather changes so incredibly once you get above the clouds. Um, you lose visibility, the wind is so strong, um, you know, you can easily get a chill in your ears, your hair gets blown absolutely everywhere, but the views are absolutely phenomenal. Um, well, this is the visibility right as we went into the clouds, and as you can see at the top, there's a cafe, and it's quite civilised really. Um, that's reaching the top and then we headed back down and it was just amazing and I really recommend it to everybody. It's such an experience and something you just have to do at least once.